guys, another Two Minute Tuesday coming at you right now. This time we're talking about the most underrepresented tennis brand on tour and at the local level. Ben, what black sheep am I alluding to? We're talking about Dunlop. I see more Dunlop on tires than I do on the tennis court. Guess little to no love. Uh, we went through the top 100 players. How many are sponsored currently by the Flying D? Top 100, Amir won. What the heck? Speaking of Amir, you're referring to Amir Amir Kechmanovich, correct? My boy. Uh, my boy, Kevin Anderson has fallen out of the top 100. Yeah, the dead last. Um, what the heck? Like, why are they not seen on tour? Well, I think it boils down to they don't sponsor players for whatever reason. Um, they focus their sponsorships elsewhere. Like, they're the official ball of the tour on their cans. They're the official ball of the ATP tour. If you watch any tournament, you will see the Dunlop logo places, just not on players. And it's curious. Yeah, and it's not enough to lure consumers towards their uh, their rackets, their their other products, you know, that we focus on as uh, amateurs. So why are you a certified lop head? What drew you to the brand? Well, nothing drew, well, uh, it was playing with the rackets. Honestly, I liked the feel better than anything else I touched. And I was a little resistant, but after I played with it, I was like, this is the one for me. And from there, it was sort of like, it had a, the name had a new meaning to mm. me. I became a Dunlop devil, um, I hate to say it, but it was just the black sheep, the underdog story drew yeah. me to the brand. I didn't see it around. I'm like, you know yeah. what, I'm going to try this lesser seen uh, racket and kind of be that odd one out. And uh, from there, I never looked back. It is really cool to be the only one repping something on a tennis court and know that it's like top tier. Too many Wilson Wizards out there. Too many friggin' Yonex Yaks. Too many Babalot Bros. <laughs> Too many Headsters. So proud to be a uh, Dunlop devil. Let's run through some of the gear we got. It's amounted to quite a bit. Yeah, uh, starting off, friggin' Dunlop tennis balls. Best balls on the market, if you ask me. Man. You've got two play sessions, three play sessions. Woo! Talking about certified lop head right here. A couple of bags coming your way. Uh, full of Dunlop equipment. Sticking with the theme of balls, we'll start small. Dunlop Ace, favorite ball by a country mile. Unfortunately, they're up to $5 a can. Luckily, Ridiculous. Dick's honors price match, so uh, I get the last laugh and get to continue to use them. Every, yep. Um, you know, I've got the bag and I've got the racket. Which, Woo! This matches Fresh. the bag, uh, just the newer model. Well, I too have that trick up my sleeve with the matching bag and racket. This is sold officially today, which is why we're filming this video. I bid this racket adieu. Just too stiff for my liking, but um, you know, nice power. But what else can I say? Uh, Dunlop sock. Ooh, we're getting random. Uh, but to be honest, the sock sucks. Sorry, Dunlop. <laughs> I believe that's more of a construction worker yeah, I mean, sock. Look at this thing. Look at the oh, like. <laughs> Come on, Lop. It looks ridiculous. Sticking with the theme of footwear, I went and got myself a pair of tennis shoes by uh, the Flying D. You said if they didn't have the logo on them, they would make you want to hurl. Um, yeah, they're not the most attractive and definitely not the most durable. This yeah. is three months in. The Active Vector, a little bit of a letdown. If they used the rubber from their tires on the bottom of their shoes, maybe they would have better luck. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Dunlop jogger pants. These are actually pretty sick. I got these at a Marshalls uh, in Winston-Salem. Woo! Uh, and they're fresh. I like them. Great warm-up pants. Would totally rep more Dunlop clothes if I found them. Dunlop headgear, a little bit of a baseball cap look, very vintage. I never wear it. Uh, I'm a sucker for the brand, not a good hat. Gee, <laughs> I'm starting to see a theme here. The Dunlop stencil, a must for your rackets. Intimidates the opponent before you even step on them. The stencil on the string bed to uh, give you guys the eye view. Woo! And the CX 200 Tour 60 by 19. This is my current racket of choice. Low powered but I beefed it up with a little bit of a handle and um, yeah. What I don't have that I would want from Dunlop is a dampener. It's incredibly hard to find a Dunlop dampener for whatever reason. I don't know why, I can't even get one online. So that's been really annoying. Mm. And Dunlop Super Tag Grips. Oh, wow. I've never seen these, right? I saw those at uh, Indian Wells actually, I'm pretty sure. Oh, for real? I'm yet to try these, so stay tuned for my thoughts. 
I'm not gonna. I was gonna say stay tuned for a review, but who reviews? A yeah, who reviews a grip? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Anything? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, Dunlop underwear. Yep. Uh, Dunlop pajamas. Mm. Mm. Dunlop toothbrush. Dunlop tires. <laughs> so, um, the saddest part is after all this, we're not sponsored. Yeah. So I don't know what we have to do to make that happen, but like we rep your stuff for free. So. So show us some love. We're on the way up. So Dunlop higher ups, um, Trashman is awaiting your uh, your offer, and we will support you no matter what. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Remember that a Trashman tennis. It's all about the tennis trash we did, baby. See ya.